It is advised before watching this video that you watch QRS API part one. You need an installation of ClickSense server, either on your local machine or on a VM. The machine where Visual Studio is installed should be able to access the ClickSense server, but it is not necessary the ClickSense server and Visual Studio are on the same machine. Download certificates. We need to export the send certificates to files to be able to use in the code. Go to certificates in the QMC and export them. Ensure you add a machine name and a certificate password. Open the directory the certificates are exported to and copy the client PFX to the machine where you have Visual Studio installed. Now open Visual Studio. Select File New Project. Under Templates, select the category Visual C Sharp and the subcategory Windows Desktop. Select Windows Forms Application as Application Type and in the name text box type QRS API or a name of your choice. Select a location in the location text box. You can browse using the button. Check the box Create Directory for Solution and click OK. Click View and Toolbox from the top menu if you need to, and then search for a button. Drag the button control from the toolbox to the form. Select Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Package Manage Console. In the console type or paste in Install Package Rest Sharp and press Enter. When the import is finished, we are ready to start working with REST Sharp. We want to create a new class which derives from the REST Sharp REST Client class. From the menu, select View, Solution Explorer. Right click in the project name, QRS API, or the name of your choice and add new item. Select class from the code category and name it click HTTP client.cs. Change this class click HTTP client to class, click HTTP client, colon, rest client. You can refer to the code snippets to take this code snippet. In the top of the code, after the last line starting with using, add three new lines where we add some namespace using REST chart semicolon, using system security cryptography X509 certificates semicolon, using system.net semicolon. Again, you can refer to the code snippets to get these code snippets. Now add four private variables as the first thing in the class. Create a constructor just underneath the last private variable.
change the path to your certificates and change test to the password you used when you exported the certificates. Under the constructor, add the method add headers that we call from the constructor. Add the code as you can see here from the code snippets provided. If you compare the things we are adding to the header, it is similar to what we tested with Postman in part one. Additionally, we add the certificate to the request. When certificate is used, we need to tell which users we want to use as the requester. This is specified in the xClick user parameter. Now we are ready to create our post call, which will create a generic call so it can be used to do different post calls. So we will take the path and data as input. Paste in the post method underneath the add header method. Now we have the generic code in place and we are ready to call it from our form. Click on the form1.cs tab, double click the button to get into the code mode and you will automatically get a click event. Insert the code below. The URL in the first line should be changed to the URL to your send server. We are using port 4242 when certificate is used to access the API. In the second line, change the task GUID to your task GUID found in part 1. Test your code by pressing F5 and click the button. If the code works, you should see the task has been started on the Sense server. Thanks for watching this video.